The St. Bernard Parish Fire Department has shuffled fire trucks and firefighters between the parish's two districts, and some residents on the lower side of the parish are concerned about how that affects response times in their area, but the chief says it shouldn't. Erica Ferrando is joining us now in the studio to explain why not. Erica. Katie, the fire chief says changes were made one month ago based on service calls. He says they moved around a few fire trucks and firefighters to better serve the parish, but some residents complained. So tonight the parish council will discuss whether the fire department should reverse the changes. The bottom line is we need a fire truck down here. Don Robbins oyster farming business in Lower St. Bernard Parish is right next to this shuttered fire station. It's been here to protect us and now it's not. Fire stations 11 and 12 both outside the levee protection system haven't reopened since they were damaged in Hurricane Ida. The fire trucks were moved six miles up the road to station 10 which was previously vacant. We're working with administration. They have some issues and concerns with FEMA and flood insurance. We have some financial challenges to to see if it's feasible to um, to reopen those stations. It's been a year ongoing and now council now member I'm Fred Everhart is even more concerned with fire response after another recent change. We need the trucks and the manpower in this out, the part of the part of the parish. Fire Chief Earl Borden says the department shuffled trucks and firefighters March 6th. Looking at the population, the call volume, um, these moves were, were made for the best interest of the entire parish. District 2, which serves Lower St. Bernard Parish, went from three pumper trucks and a rescue truck to two pumper trucks and a rescue truck. The other pumper truck was converted into a rescue truck and moved to the middle of the parish within District 1 borders. Every fire station still has a pumper, so they still have fire protection uh, just as before the moves. And um, that's also provides quick response for medical, which is the majority of our calls. But we now have three rescue apparatus uh, strategically po uh, positioned within the parish. Chief Warden adds District 2 went from six to five firefighters on a daily basis. One is a chief officer, which the district didn't previously have. Everhart wants the parish to immediately reverse the staffing and truck changes. An emergency ordinance is being discussed Tuesday night. I want to bring my two men back and my fire truck back, my squad back, and I want my two fire stations back open, bottom line. If that ordinance does pass, uh, and, that, and that's their intentions, then we would essentially be going from three apparatus with rescue capabilities back to two. And the emergency ordinance is on the agenda for 7 o'clock tonight. Chief Borden also added he's trying to secure a couple hundred thousand dollars for, in funding for more firefighters and rescue equipment that would go to District 2.